The motion blocks allow you to move the sprite around the screen and change the direction they face. The move steps block can have a positive or negative number that will cause a sprite to jump forward or backward in whatever direction they are facing. If you want a sprite to gradually move across the screen without teleporting, use repeat with the motion blocks. The turn degree block will instantly rotate a sprite to the right or left a set number of degrees. Use a repeat with a small number in the turn block to gradually rotate a sprite. You can instantly teleport your sprite to a random location, your mouse location, or another sprite like the dog sprite using the go to block. If you want to teleport to a specific coordinate on the screen, use the go to XY block. Know that the stage has a range of negative 240 to positive 240 for the left and right X axis, but the up and down Y axis goes from negative 180 to positive 180. You could use the go to random position block in games like sprite catcher games to randomize where a sprite will appear, or you could use the pick random number block within each of the X and Y coordinates to have the sprite teleport to a specific range or to only randomize one of the coordinates and not the other. The glide blocks work exactly like the go to blocks, except you get to determine how long it will take for the sprite to get somewhere instead of instantly teleporting. Note that your code will not run any of the blocks underneath it until it finishes gliding, so it's like hitting the pause button on your code. The point blocks allow you to point your sprite toward your mouse or another sprite, but you can also pick a specific direction using the number or degree wheel. You can use the change XY blocks to move left, right, up, or down regardless of the direction your sprite is facing. You can also use the set XY block to instantly change only the X or Y positions. The if on edge block will make the sprite bounce if it's on the edge and are using a move block. However, you need to put the block inside of a repeat with a move block to cause the sprite to bounce off the edge. You can set your sprite to rotate all around, only be able to rotate left or right, or only look one direction using the set rotation style block. The blocks at the bottom allow you to use the sprite's position and directions as variables in your code. For example, to change the backdrop if the sprite moves to a specific part of the stage. If you check the box next to these blocks, you can display the position and direction of the sprite on your stage. Instead of selecting one number of each of the blocks, you can also use a pick random number block to pick between a range of options or even use a variable to change the numbers while someone is using the project. For example, to change the speed of the player's movement when they get a power up. If you're working on your project and you can't find the motion blocks, it's because you're on the stage, which isn't able to move around. Just click on a sprite and your block should reappear. Check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.